Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Marika Sison and welcome to our course, Methods of Research. Today we're going to discuss documentation style for your research paper or thesis. Throughout the research, the published researches of other researchers are cited to credit those who prepared the foundation for your work according to Elmeda et al. in 2016. To present someone else's ideas or work as your own is to commit plagiarism. According to the Merriam-Webster Online Dictionary, to plagiarize means to steal and pass off the ideas or words of another as one's own, to use another's production without crediting the source, to commit literary theft, to present as new and original an idea or product derived from an existing source. When searching for other literature, a caution needs to be made about plagiarism according to Calagos in 2015. Plagiarism is a serious breach of ethics and dishonest offense that can result in expulsion from an academic institution. Reference citation is giving others credits when credit is due. It must be included in your research paper whenever else ideas or work has influenced your thinking and writing. The American Psychological Association or APA is a popular style commonly used by researchers in documentation or reference citation. The APA format is also called the author date method of parenthetical documentation or in-text citation. When we say documentation, it refers to acknowledgement of sources. These sources are cited as direct quotations or as indirect quotations or paraphrases. There are two basic types of citation formats for documenting materials according to Almeda et al. in 2015. These are the notes bibliography format or parenthetical or the reference list format. Remember that reference citations or forms vary with formats adopted by the institutions, although most institutions adopt the APA format nowadays. Now let us discuss the two basic types of citation formats. First is the notes or bibliography format. It presents bibliographical information in footnotes or endnotes, which may either use author's name and page number, as in the case of Modern Language Association, according to Almeda et al. in 2015. In the MLA format, this list is entitled, Works Cited. The next basic type for citation format is the parenthetical reference list format. The author's name and date of work cited within the parentheses or the APA style includes documentation in parentheses within the text and in the list of works in the APA format. It is entitled, References. So here are the guidelines for the placement and content of citations using the APA style according to Almeda et al. in 2016. First, place the author or authors and dates within the parentheses at an appropriate place within or at the end of a sentence. So we have here an example. According to Azur and Kelles in 2016, Teachers must remind their students of their environmental responsibility and raise awareness. In order to achieve this level of consciousness, teachers must become even more knowledgeable than students. Kales Ozun, Bomachi Ozun in 2010. They should show knowledge of ethical approaches to environmental issues. They should be exposed to many innovations to become globally competitive. Season in 2012. Next, place only the date within parentheses. Example, according to CISON in 2012, teachers should show knowledge of ethical approaches to environmental issues. They should be exposed to many innovations to become globally competitive. And number three, integrate both the author and date into the system. Example, in 2012, CISON stated that teachers should show knowledge of ethical approaches to environmental issues. They should be exposed to many innovations to become globally competitive. Most of the published materials or articles in international journals are using example number one for placement and content of citations. So may I suggest that you also use this in writing your citations in your thesis or research paper. In documentation, we cite the 
sources as direct quotation or indirect quotations or paraphrases. So, there are different paraphrasing techniques as cited by Almeida et al. in 2016. First, replace a word with a synonym. Paraphrasing can be longer or shorter than the original. Concentrate on the meaning, not on the words. Next, verbs and adjectives have counterparts that are interchangeable with the author's original words. Not all synonyms have exact meanings. Look at the thesaurus and double-check with a dictionary. Avoid using abstract words. They come as weak words. Next, use of synonyms is a problem in scientific writing because often there is only one word to describe a certain action or object. It is better to keep the important words and change the sentence structure. If you must power page your thesis and research papers, you should do it intelligently to avoid plagiarism. In fact, you should not paraphrase manually to avoid errors and stress, especially when you're not a linguistic expert. Nevertheless, there are several paraphrasing tools out there that you can use. So here are some examples according to rigoriousteams.com. First is the Killbot. This paraphrasing tool makes use of state-of-the-art A1. To millions of people, it's the best paraphrasing tool out there. Next is Spin the Writer. It works perfectly for paraphrasing research works. Another paraphrasing tool is the Spinbot. Described as a text rewriter, an article spinner, and content creating tool. So, before using these paraphrasing tools, be careful and res responsible about the selection of these tools. You should be familiar with the pros and cons or the advantages and disadvantages of using technology before uh, using these tools. For example, one of the disadvantages of using uh, a paraphrasing tool is that not all the paraphrasing tools are reliable. So some of these are not free, so it, but it may cost you hundreds or thousands of pesos so another disadvantage is that uh, paraphrasing tools sometimes don't have proofreading features so that is why you should be careful and responsible in your in the selection of your paraphrasing tool so there are also free online bibliography and citation tools according to the elearningindustry.com so you can check this out in their website so uh, here are some examples, Bibi, Citation Machine, Citavi, Citefast, and Citelighter. So here are my references for my lecture today. So that's all from now. Thank you and keep safe.